Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two future Hall of Famers in this fight game. We have Turns T. Bud Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, and the current WBO welterweight world champion. And then we have Earl of the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA unified world champion. And we also know that Earl Spence was trying his best with Steven Espinosa and Al Heyman to make the big fight for Undisputed at the welterweight division. Now, everything is coming out now, and, you know, Earl Spence and Steven Espinosa is putting it out there that, you know, Terrence Bull Crawford has been talking to, you know what I mean, BLK Prime, and, you know, he backstabbed them. You feel me? He backstabbed them. Um, Earl Spence, he was only on one accord where well, he only won in one fight with Terrence Bud Crawford. He wasn't talking to anybody else for any other fights. He wasn't talking about any other fighters. He was staying true to undisputed, you know, against Terrence Crawford because that's what he said he was going to get a fans. Um, he's a stand-up guy. And as you see, he was very upset, very upset that Terrence Bud Crawford played him and played, you know, everyone else by signing the deal to fight um, David Avenesia on BLK Prime. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it was just, it was it was shocking to everybody. But we seen what Earl Spence said. He, he pussyfooted around for months. Now, Turnsburg Crawford came out. He trying to use the same logic as it was PBC that was playing around for months and not sending him anything. But he never said um, that they took 14 days to get back to him. Turnsburg Crawford never said that Oh, man, they not communicating right. Or they not doing this. What he said was, was they was trying to lowball him. Turns Bill Crawford, a whole situation was, oh, they trying to lowball me. They not trying to pay me what I'm worth. But then he ended up getting what he asked for, right? And then he started making other demands and things of that nature. Telling people to open up the books and things that never been done in boxing by any other promoters or any other networks, right? So now... You know, turns Bill Crawford, he goes behind their back and he starts talking to BLK Prime and he's making as if, right, it just happened out of the blue, which is not true, right? That didn't just happen out of the blue. You go get a big time contract with fucking BLK Prime and, and you know, these guys, Earl Spence, Steven Espinosa, and Al Heyman has, they have no knowledge of what's going on. Um, Steven Espinosa came out and said, you know, they had a look a little notion that he was talking to BLK Prime, but they didn't know it was to the extent to where he was going to run out the fucking back door and backstab them and go sign the goddamn contract. You understand what I'm saying? So with Earl Spence still being patient, trying to give us the fight that we all want, you know, not trying to cause no ruckus, so he's not putting nothing out there in the, in the media, not saying nothing too bad on Twitter, shit like that, to make somebody get pissed off and mad, right? He's been keeping cool, calm, and collective and just letting the business of boxing be. Everybody talk it out. And, you know, he just was assured that, you know, Terrence Boyd Crawford's situation was getting handled, you know, because, you know, he, he was accepting what he was accepting, one crying about it, knowing, knowing that he's taking a, 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 a loss as well, just like Terrence Boyd Crawford. But when it comes to Bud, right, this dude is doing a whole nother deal, and he's been had this deal going on. It don't just come out of the fucking blue. For somebody to up and give you $10 million, $10 million, I repeat, $10 million to fight on that platform. So what Bud Crawford was doing to everybody, he was, oh man, do I really want to do this over here with Earl Spence, knowing it's going to be tough as fuck, right? Knowing I've been out the ring for X, X, Y, and Z, do I really feel like my body is ready? Do I feel like our game plan is good enough to do this and do that? Or, you know, these dudes for to give me $10 million to go beat up on another nobody, right? And I don't want to just diss David Amnesia because, you know, we respect all fighters. But come on, bro. David Amnesia is not on no turns Bud Crawford level. David Amnesia need to be fighting somebody like fucking Rashidi Ellis or something like that, right? Somebody just trying to come up and make, I ain't going to say make their name, but get in position to fight for a world title. Not turns Bud Crawford fighting no David Amnesia like this. Go, you know, put... Uh, 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 exclamation point on something, dude. You know what I'm saying? He know he finna beat the fuck out of David Amnesian, bro. He know it. You feel me? So what turns Bud Crawford did was he saw a lick and he hit a lick. You know what I mean? That's street terminology, y'all. You see a lick, you hit a lick. Like, then they finna give me $10 million to go whoop this boy ass. And then over her, 
I got to go fight Earl Spence, which I can probably make $20 million, but I know it's a possibility of me getting my ass whooped. You know what I mean? So let me go get this $10 million real fast. Then I'm going to come back, and, you know, I can still fight Earl Spence. And not only I can fight him, but guess what? I got me a tune-up in because I've been out the ring since November because I feel like I'm not ready for Earl Spence. He fought in April, so I feel like he got an edge. And then I can come back and say, well, I just got $10 million up front for them, so y'all got to give me $10 million up front because I just fought David Evanesia, and then y'all have to give me this. Like, get out of here with that shit, bro. That's bullshit. You was doing business with um, uh, fucking Showtime and PBC. You should have stuck to doing business with them. Them mans were not their way. They were not their way to make sure you was okay. They were not their way to accommodate you. Earl Spence went out his way to take, you know what I'm saying, hits and to make sure, you know, that you get compensated the way that you should get compensated, bro. So if you was taking the hit, Earl Spence was taking the hit. If you was standing out the ring for a little longer, Earl Spence was standing out the ring for a little longer, bro. Let's not do this, bro. Let's not play this game, fam. Let's not play this game because in between June and November, no, nah, we just going to say June and October because we're in October, bro. You had some fuck-ups in that contract to where you was beating around the bush, bro. You was beating around the bush. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they sent you a new revised contract because the first contract, you know, you didn't want to play ball with. You know what I'm saying? And it was to your liking, but you just wanted to make a motherfucking fuss out of the shit. So now they're seeing back another contract that revised it. People trying to say, well, he will have to go fight next year. Okay, well, that's on him as well. It's not just on Earl Spence, PBC, and fucking um, Showtime. It's on Terrence Boyd Crawford as well because he let it drag along as well. He let it drag along. You know what I mean? He didn't agree to everything like he said he agreed to everything because if he agreed to everything, the fight will be taking place. The fight will be taking place. You can't say that your lawyers went out there and told Black Prime that um, okay, we thank y'all, but we moving on with this shit. So that means y'all had to Ben be talking with these dudes. Let that settle in. Y'all had to Ben be talking with these dudes. And then now they sent y'all another contract uh, 14, day to, 14 days, 15 days ago now. And y'all haven't got back to them people not once. Y'all haven't got back to them people not once. So at the end of the day, it just shows that y'all was playing games. Your plan was to backstab these people. Y'all were just waiting on a different deal to come along. Or Black Prime came and got into your head. You know what I'm saying? Midway between negotiations. And you was going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? You was going back and forth, bro. And you say, you know what? This deal is just a little bit more sweeter because I can go whoop this boy ass, make $10 million, and it's not a real threat. But Steven Espinosa came out, and he, he said these things, bro. He said that y'all backstabbed the shit out of him. Y'all backstabbed the shit out of him. They had no idea that you was going that way, that you was going to go do that shit, and that you played them people, bro. You know what I'm saying? You played them. Everybody is surprised by this shit. Even, even these dudes that you were negotiating with. You didn't even get them an opportunity. You didn't even get them a chance to understand what was going on with you and Black Prime, bro. You didn't even get them people an opportunity or a chance to even try to counter the shit. How come they can't make the fight happen for December the 10th? How you know they won't come back and be like, you know what? Well, we'll push the fight up till December the 10th. Because remember, Steven Espinosa said December is still in play as well, bro. It's still in play. So if he came to them like, you know what? Listen, I want to fight in December. I don't want to take it to next year. We got to figure out this, how to get it done in December. We could go out here. We can force and push the, the, the press conferences, right? We got enough time to make that happen, right? You know, so, you know, it's just like Terrence Crawford just didn't want to fight with these dudes, bro. And he didn't try to sit down and compromise with them and let them know everything that was going on. And it's just bullshit. It's bullshit on both ends because now you got one side that was working with his ass, thinking everything was good and great. Now they go look at you like, we're not doing business with you no more because you fucked us over. Like, you really ran out the door. You really ran out the door and just left us hanging. You know what I'm saying? Left us hanging. So, you know, that's not going to work out good for Turnsbull Crawford after this Steve, I mean, after this David Ebenezer fight. PBC and, and Showtime go move on. Earl Spence look like he's ready to go to 154. He's done with Turnsbull Crawford. And maybe this is what Turnsbull Crawford wanted all along. He never wanted to fight with Earl Spence. He just wanted to act like he wanted to fight. So people can say, you know, he wasn't scared. But all along, he is scared of Earl Spence whooping his ass. You know what I'm saying? He's afraid of Earl Spence whooping his ass. And nobody can tell me different. You know what I'm saying? For us, all the parties that's in cahoots with the shit, you know, they fuck the fans over and things of that nature. But, you know, call my bitch. Call my bitch. So when I look at Steven Espinosa, I believe Steven Espinosa. I believe that Al Heyman then wanted this fight because they stayed up day and night trying to make this thing happen with Terrence Crawford and compensate this man to his liking. He was just hard to, to work with, like Bob Arum said, and, and just flat out, bro. He ducked Earl Spence, and he just don't want the fight. He just don't want the fight. And we got to live with that. Shouts out to EJ, man. Keep your head up, champ. And go out there 
and, and, and you know, do what you got to do to make your career a Hall of Fame career. And that's that. And to the end, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate OG Money on Cash App, trayhout 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.